What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video I want to show you guys a demo of a wireless charging mod for the PS Vita. Now I will not be installing the mod in this video for two reasons. It's going to take quite a long time. I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Also I'm a bit nervous to take apart my PS Vita. This is my only one. I've had this for quite a while now and I don't want to permanently damage it. So when I do make a video for this, if I ever do, I will actually have to get a second Vita. Now in theory this should work on the PS Vita 1000 and also the PS Vita 2000 as well. So I'm going to show you guys how this works. Now I was actually inspired to do this by my friend. He actually showed me this pretty cool like wireless charging. It's like a piece of paper and um, he was using it on his phone and I thought that is actually really cool. It's a very easy way to turn any phone into a basically a wireless charging phone. And then I realized you can use this on handheld consoles as well and on the PS Vita this might be something that looks quite cool. So let me show you everything I've got. I'm going to build the demo in this video so you guys can see how it works. I'm I'm just not going to actually install it inside of the case. So obviously the first thing you need is a PS Vita itself. Now I'm going to show you guys what the wireless charging pad looks like. So as you can see, it's literally paper thin. Really, really cool. Um, this is what it's called. It's called a USB Type-C wireless charging receiver. Now my friend had a Type-C one, so I just went ahead and bought the same as him. I don't know if they have this and with different connections, um, but obviously if you're going to put it inside the Vita, it shouldn't matter too much what the connection is. You might be able to take this off and customize it a bit. I don't know. I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, this is some information about it. Maybe I will link this in the description. If I can find and um, the same one that I bought on Amazon I will be sure to link it in the description if you guys are interested so this is the USB Type-C wireless charging pad I guess paper I don't know it's very very thin so obviously for this video this one is USB Type-C and the port on my Vita is not USB Type-C so I have to use an adapter now what this is is a USB Type-C to USB adapter so basically what I can do is plug this into the adapter and then I will have to get some other cables um, to connect this to my Vita. I will also be using my official Vita transfer cable um, so I can just demo you guys how it would charge. Now I've kind of done mine a messy way but I dug around a bit and I found one of these in my old PC boxes and I should be able to use this to adapt it to my PS Vita. So obviously this will plug in just like that and then I will have to get my Vita's cable I'm sure you guys have one of these if you have a Vita I've had to buy three because I keep on losing them but um, yeah so this actually plugs in here um, if I can, I can never get USBs around the right way I'm, what am I doing so yeah this one plugs in here like that and then obviously this will plug into your Vita itself and then that is pretty much it for the demo a long wire that looks pretty annoying um, but it does actually work I have tested this before and it, even if you have it like some crazy like mess like this it will still charge your PS Vita now obviously you're probably wondering how does it actually charge and right here I have got a wireless charging pad now I did not buy these together I bought this one first and then I thought oh I didn't buy the compatible pad well it turns out that just like pretty much any QI um, you know wireless pad should work this one was really cheap I don't know how much I paid for it this was also very cheap maybe two pounds something like that this was dirt cheap as well as you can see it's just got a um, micro USB port on the end and then I also got a plug but I already had this lying around and then of course you need one of these so you can actually plug in your wireless pad into the wall so now what I'm probably going to do is I'm basically going to demo this I'm going to be setting this up on basically my desk and I can show you guys how your Vita will charge wirelessly um, off this using this and I said it's just a demo keep that in mind I'm not going to be installing it in this video so if you guys want to install it and beat me to it feel free to do that Okay, so just some proof this works. What I'm going to do first is just turn on the wireless charging pad. So once that's turned on, I can basically just get a battery um, with the dodgy connections on it, the USB Type-C battery, and I can pretty much just place this on top. Um, pretty much just in the middle is okay. And my PS Vita, just on the standby mode, I can plug in the USB cable, and hopefully it should actually charge. Now I'm sure you guys know that when your PS Vita starts to charge, this LED will actually go orange. Now that was just flickering quite a bit, so I don't know if the battery's kind of moving as I'm moving the wire, maybe it is. But you guys can see it's actually charging. If I just start it up, um, there is also another indication how to see if your PS Vita is charging. 
and that is actually by looking at the battery logo so I'm just going to bring you in close a bit and when it focuses you guys can see that the battery actually has a little animation on it now the lighting here is quite bad so I don't know if you guys can quite see that but it does actually have a little animation on the battery percentage which basically lets you know it's charging and of course you can just turn it off and the um, light here should actually go orange um, once it's been blue for a while now obviously if I did actually install this mod, this is what it would pretty much look like. You'd just get your Vita, go and mount it on the charger, and then it would actually start charging. And I think that does look quite professional and cool, especially without any cables at all. So maybe you guys think this concept is cool, maybe you guys think this concept is stupid, let me know what you think in the comments. Now obviously if I did actually want to get this set up, I would have to somehow mount this battery inside, so you know, behind the case right here. Um, I don't know, I shouldn't be too hard, this battery is very thin. The problem would be connecting up to, up to here, and the second problem would be the heat. I know this, these kind of batteries can get quite hot, as my friend said he had one tucked in behind his phone case, and it did actually get quite warm, which is a bit concerning but um, I guess you've got to kind of live with it and if you've got it charging on overnight I don't know if that could sometimes damage your PS Vita I don't know if anyone's actually tested something like this before but yeah I just thought it was quite interesting if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe let me know what you think about this in the comments is it a stupid idea or is it something that could be quite a cool mod thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one